outside University Hospital last week. Tonight, one of those family members traveled from Maine to New Orleans trying to find some answers. But as Katie Moore reports, those answers are hard to come by. Michael Fleeshoop took this video from <laughs> down to New Orleans last week. It's the last time he was seen. Fleeshoop's car was found outside of University uh. Hospital at 3 o'clock in the morning last Thursday with a body burning inside uh. the house. Investigators think it was Fleeshoop but haven't been able to identify the body. The night before his car was found burning, Michael Fleeshook talked to his son, Marcel, a painter who started painting in New Orleans at a young age, but moved to Maine uh, in 2007. I was in the process of changing galleries, and I asked him to take paintings from, you know, uh, out of a couple of galleries and then uh, and to put paintings in a new gallery that I have here in New Orleans. And, and, uh, and also to deliver this uh, Father Silos painting to the shrine. It's Father Silos outside the convention center after Katrina. It'll soon have a permanent home at the shrine on Josephine Street. Workers there helped Marcel get down here to meet with detectives and deal with what both he and uh, the New Orleans police believe uh, are his father's burned remains. They ruled out murder, that it's either uh, accidental or suicidal, and my father was not. Uh, suicidal. Coroner Dr. Frank Minyard says the initial autopsy shows the man in the car died of smoke inhalation, but they're still waiting on toxicology tests. He says there were no signs the badly burned man was hit on the head or evidence of gunshot wounds, for example. Marcel can't get access to the remains because they haven't yet been identified. He says his father never went to the dentist, and therefore, there are no dental records for the coroner to compare. I would never see his remains, because, you know, I thought maybe that, that there's a way I could identify him, uh, you know, and I'm so, sorry. so I can reclaim the body. It makes for a difficult time with the family now doubly grief-stricken, first for Blanca, now for Michael. Because the coroner has ruled this not a homicide, he says the city typically doesn't conduct a DNA test to confirm the identity of the victim. And the NOPD would then close out the case as an accident or a suicide with an unknown victim. But tonight, coroner Frank Minyard says that process will get done in this very unusual case to allow the family to properly bury the remains back in the name of Dennis and Angela. Non ci dice. To be alive and well. And you know what, Mama? I'm not. You asked me earlier, am I ready to die? Hell, no, Mama. I'm not. I'm not. I don't, I don't find any fascination with being sick or dying or anything. I don't understand, and, I'm, and you don't have to because it's my fault, you know. But you know what, Ma? I'm alive. I'm really alive. Even though I'm in the damn hospital with infection, I'm more alive than I've been in a long time. Well, I hope so.